In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the let function here in Google Sheets. So the let function allows you to save a formula or calculation in a variable, then use that same variable within your formula. Now, in my example data set right here, I'm trying to get the commission for each salesperson based on their profit margin. Now to compute for that, we're going to start with the profit. Let's try and determine the profit first. So I'm going to start with profit right here. There you have it. And the formula to get a profit would be to have our sales minus our cost. If we press enter, there we have it. Let's accept our suggested autofill. And to get our profit margin, let's put in profit margin right here. Our calculation would be our profit divided by our sales. So equal sign profit divided by our sales, press enter. There you have it. Now I'm just going to format this into percentage to make it look nicer. Now with these profit and profit margin, we're going to calculate the commission based on the calculation of if this person has made a profit margin of over 40%, then they'll get a commission of 10%. If not, then they'll just get a commission of 3%. So let's go ahead and compute for our commission using our if function. So let's type in commission here. There we go. Let me just quickly format that. So our formula will start with the equal sign with the if function. Our logical expression would be, again, if the profit margin is greater than 40% then they get a commission of 10%. So that's profit multiplied by 10%. If not, then they get a commission of only 3%. So that's profit multiplied by 3%. Let's close that off and press enter. And there you have it. So now we have the commission for each of those salesperson based on their profit margin. So let's accept the suggested autofill. There we go. Now, what if we don't want to see our profit and profit margin columns and just straight to the commission? So what we would do would be to copy the formulas that we have here and replace them with our cell reference in our formula. So I've copied the profit margin formula and that's going to be G2. So I'm just going to replace that, paste this in. And there you have it. If I press enter, it will still give me the same results drag it down. There you go. Now I can just get rid of this column right here. And there you have it. It has not affected my formula. What if I also want to remove the profit column? Again, we're going to do the same thing. So we have about three references with the F2 cell. If we double click on this and copy the formula within that cell, copy. Let's go ahead and paste it right here. Replace the F2. Paste. Paste and paste. There we have it. Now with their order of operations, what it's going to do is start with the multiplication and the division. So we have to enclose these formulas right here in parentheses. So let's go ahead and do that. That's our profit formula enclosed in parentheses to make sure that it calculates the profit first before it does anything else. If we press enter, again, it will give us the same results. Drag this down and there you have it. Again, we can just delete the profit column and there we go. So this is where our let function comes in. As you'll notice with our formula, we have a repetition of this formula right here, which is our profit calculation. Now, what we will do with our let function would be to rename this variable into one single name instead of having this variable repeated in our formula. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to put the let function right here. There we go. Make it a bit bigger. Now let's try and do that with the let function. So our let function again with any formula starts with an equal sign. Type in let. Select it right there. And here's your formula. So we have the name, which we're going to be giving to our variable or to our formula within our formula. So the name that I'm going to be putting for our value expression one would be our profit, which is exactly what it is. Now in naming your variables, it's important to remember that you can't put spaces in between 
and that you can't name it something similar to what's within your spreadsheet. We already deleted a profit column, so we can definitely use that this time. So that's profit and the value expression for this one would be again, that's sales minus our cost, which is our profit, comma. Now we can start our if statement for our commission. So that's if, again, our logical expression would be to compute for our profit margin, which we will be basing for our commission. So if our profit divided by our sales is greater than 40%, then again, that would be profit, our name, the variable right there, multiplied by 10%. And again, if our profit margin is not over 40%, then their commission would only be profit multiplied by 3%. Close that off, press enter, and there you have it. We have the same results as per our previous calculation right here. So instead of having that E2 minus D2 every time, we have the name variable, which is profit, which actually offers us precision because we don't have to repeat the same variable where you can make mistakes. So that's how we can use our let function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.